Okay, today we are um, we are Tuesday, and uh, these blocks we you see in here. Uh, I showed you uh, these blocks last Friday, and last Friday I put them in here in this uh, small greenhouse. No, actually they spent the week in the greenhouse. But what I did the last Friday is to switch the moisture to 93%, like you see here. So it was 98 for the pinning and I moved it to 93 because I was getting a um, lot of mold and the mushroom didn't look so well. Uh, finally, I think this is the right moisture level. I don't see any mold uh, and the mushrooms look fine, they are big, not soaked with water. As you can see, like this one, they are dark, not, they are not dried, but at the same time they are not soaked with water like the last time I, uh, what I got. This one is maybe more soaked with water. Um, also, I am a bit late uh, because, uh, as you see, most of the mushrooms opened up too much. I should have came yesterday because now at uh, <laughs> where is that? at 22 uh, percent, uh, 22 degrees, it's getting faster and faster. And so these mushrooms were just small pins, uh, like this, like, like this, just last uh, Friday. So I couldn't expect they will grow so fast in only uh, one, two, three, four days. So they should, I should come with, after only three days. And actually I am thinking how to... Um, how to schedule uh, correctly the each phase of soaking fridge and also because we try we have uh, we don't we can't come in the weekend so when to what's the best phase in the weekend is it in the fridge or like here so but this is a fantastic harvest i think Usually we get less mushrooms and bigger with a bigger size. So I will harvest all this, all this, uh, put the block to dry. And also I will tell you how much uh, I got. So today we are uh, 17 was the last, last Friday. And today we are five days later. We are the 22, I think. So. So that's it, I will show you just how much mushroom one block gives because this is a very nice result. Uh, we'll get, I don't know, something like at least 700 grams per block. It's a one and a half pound, maybe two pounds. And this is only the first flush because I will... Uh, um, I will show you also the, how you get the other flushes, second, third, and so on. And even after you get mold, you can like recover from mold and uh, the party is never over. With this shiitake it's crazy, you can like grow the same block over and over again, 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 for months. So, uh, okay, let's harvest this. After good observation, I found uh, one spot of mold here. Okay, so uh, I think it's the only one. Uh, and also I find a little bit too wet the mushrooms. So maybe I will reduce a little bit the uh, settings because now it's between 90 and 93%. Maybe I will put it between, let's say, 88 and 93%. So it will be a bit drier, the atmosphere. But this is very little. Okay, I think I can remove this small piece and it will be false. Okay, this is one of the blocks. 
just to show you around it's all around all around all around these mushrooms that's crazy usually we don't get so much i think it's the combination of the good um, moisture levels and uh, the good uh, substrate usually you, we use uh, uh, coffee as a supplement and wood pellet as a substrate this one we used bran as supplement and the result is it makes much um, much more mushrooms and a little bit more weight at the end the coffee makes uh, smaller uh, less mushrooms but bigger mushrooms like uh, our uh, customer got used to jumbo shiitake uh, that mushrooms that of uh, 300 grams one mushroom of 200 300 grams Okay, this is very beautiful block. I will harvest and tell you how much all this is. Okay, as you can see, we are almost at one kilo. So almost two pounds of mushroom. This is only the first flush. And I have uh, five others like this. So I will be going home with uh, five kilos of shiitake. And okay, this is the block. Now all sad because he lost all his mushrooms. Uh, I have to notice, yes, I removed uh, the piece with the mold in, in here. And also when I remove the mushroom, I pull the mushrooms. And after I did this, I tried to remove all what looks like dead mycelium skins, like I'm doing now because this is like calling for mold what what looks very soft and okay, I'm not, I don't want to hurt the block too much but some um, uh, the mold likes to have this kind of look here uh, like dead uh, mycelium skin to grow on and so uh, this block is ready to move to the greenhouse. I will just write down the harvest of today and I will move it to dry. Okay, and I will show you also the other blocks because it looks interesting. Mushrooms are a little bit too dry, so I will let them out. Uh, to dry a bit, maybe even take them a bit in the sun if uh, I have the time. Uh, yes, and so that's why also they will wait so much. Um, but this is really very nice, very nice. Okay, I took out uh, two other blocks. I will harvest all this and see if they also give each one kilo of mushroom. And we have 776 grams. Uh, this is for the second block. Uh, so it's first flush. It's like 71% of uh, biologic efficiency. Mushrooms are a bit too wet for, in, for my taste and I'm afraid that they won't uh, stand very well, so I will uh, let them dry a bit outside before putting them in the fridge. Maybe take, uh, let them take some sun. So I will harvest the next block now. But the first one made like 80% of biologic efficiency. We are making blocks of 1 kilo 250 grams dry substrate with 20% Bran for this series and 80% uh, beach fuel uh, pellets. So this is uh, the, the harvest of shiitake. Okay, uh, this one made a record, beaten a record. How do you say? Uh, it's one kilo, 164 grams of shiitake mushrooms actually these ones looks uh, a bit a bit better because they are drier 
it was further away from the moisture and actually it looks like it liked a lot so it's almost 100% how much is it? is it like uh, more than 90% of uh, biologic efficiency and now this block I have to put it to dry so I will show you a little bit okay I'm starting to notice it has a strange smell maybe because the high moisture level uh, or maybe because of the temperature but this is the place where we dry the blocks now I, I I put this, this is recent, uh, small fan here, just to, you know, help them dry faster because actually we don't have a lot of air, fresh air coming in here. It's coming from the lab, through the filters and all that. It's not, uh, sometimes it's not enough. So, but this is uh, really very good news. <laughs> that we had so much mushrooms from this block. It gives a lot of hope for next year when we'll be making many of these type of blocks. And right now, usually we get 500 grams and we are happy. Now, I mean, with one kilo per block, first flush, come on. What we'll get to the, until the second flush, until the end of life of the block, we'll get something like, I don't know, Two kilos, like 150% of biologic efficiency. Are we growing oyster or what? So, okay. Uh, this is a good day. I will uh, harvest uh, some more and tell you how much uh, the two other blocks uh, got uh, mushrooms. There is one that did not look very successful. I don't know why. And also, yes, of course, I will start uh, new blocks that are in the fridge. Right here. And they are waiting. Look, they are already covered with beans. This, this one. And I will also take some uh, blocks over here that are dried. I don't know. It wet. Some of them are dry and waiting for some time. And I will soak them to get, uh, to get uh, another flush from this. So this is like more the second flush. I mean, I gave only one flush at this size. Look at the size here. So yes, this, these small ones gave uh, more than one flush. This one here gave, I don't know, but it's two, three times already. Okay, this block is even more successful, that's crazy. Uh, this has been compressed because we have seen that Chinese like to compress the shiitake street. And it has even more mushrooms. I didn't harvest yet to tell you how much it is exactly, but this is oh, it's covered all over, all over. Let's see how much do we get. Okay, I want to show you a little bit how I harvest the mushrooms. So I. Okay, this is a bad example because the stem is stuck in there. So I will get it out because I don't want to leave these stem pieces on the block. They will get mold for sure. And even these balls like this, it's kind of a board of mushroom. This needs to be removed. And even Look at this small piece of skin. They will get, get uh, wet easily and they will get dry and mold will grow over it. And again, like a uh, port and so on. But 
but uh, yes, to, to harvest the mushrooms uh, themselves, it's hard to find a place to put your fingers. It's Young mushrooms that didn't grow up, I don't know why. Maybe there was too many for the what the block could support. So this. So the reason I don't cut is that I don't want to leave the stem buds on the block because I, we were doing this before and most of the time they get mauled because it's a tissue that is not alive or that won't stay alive after the mushroom release the spores. So I try to get the basis as well without like taking too much substrate as well because I don't want to open big ones. Look, uh, like this hole I made here is not good. Look. There is uh, like a cavern. In here. And this is bad because mold like caverns. So I will try to open the area so it will dry more easily. It won't keep the moisture. Yes, like this. Okay, no more cavern. No soft tissue from the stem of the mushroom. Okay, continue harvesting. So this is a group all stuck together. So I try to up, remove everything, throw the, some substrate. Okay, this block gave only 891. Look, it's very comp the substrate was compressed, so the block is smaller than usual, but it gave as much mushrooms as uh, the other box, even a bit less maybe. And uh, yes, now we, I mean with one almost one kilo per block, I mean I have a lot of mushrooms uh, for only five blocks. So. <clears throat> I will put this one to dry and I will go to grab uh, the last block and I it will be uh, all for today harvest at least because I have more to <coughs> soak actually uh, to get out from the fridge the previous mushrooms uh, the previous shiitake blocks here there is one of them my fridge waiting I will put them in the greenhouse and also I will soak some of these blocks over here that are waiting their turn for the second flush. So this is the first flush they are drying and this is the, like the third and fourth flush down there and all the the one at the top is after the first flush. Are almost ready to be soaked again.